And we begin from the nation's capital, where President Bola Tinubu, who met with security chiefs and the Inspector General of Police, charged them to collaborate in the fight against all forms of security challenges confronting the country. The service chiefs also thanked President Tinubu for giving them the opportunity to serve, and they pledged their loyalty to the president and the country. BBC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde has details. The service chiefs arrived for their first meeting with the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. They are led by the national security advisor, Nuhu Ribadu. This kind of meeting is usually to give the president a comprehensive status brief of the security situation in the country and also receive fresh directives on how to tackle emerging threats to national security. Matters of security at this level are usually classified and behind closed doors. But the National Security Advisor briefs State House correspondents on the outcome. We believe that the choice he made is the right one, the correct one. And we know what he wants for this country. We are going to work tirelessly to ensure that we accomplish that objective of securing our country, establishing peace, stability, and let's get our lives back. He gave us the assurance that he is with us 100%. He told us that we must work as a team and there is a work to be done. He will expect us to deliver where we are today. And you can see already things are improving in our country. If you see the record of crimes and activities of the criminals, it's going down. It will continue to go down. Again, the president re-emphasized the need for security agencies to work together and stop the unhealthy rivalry that has only succeeded in worsening the country's security challenges. The task ahead of the new service chiefs will be daunting as they set out to quell insurgency end the farmer headers conflict, banditry, kidnapping for ransom, and other violent crimes. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.